Hi, this is Nebraska Senator Pete Ricketts, and we're doing a new feature called Ricketts Replies. It's where I read letters that we've received into my office and give you some responses. So let's start with the first couple of letters. This is from Linda in Nebraska City who wrote saying, I am writing to express my support for Israel and against the rise of anti-Semitism. Linda says she wants me to stand with Israel, assist Israel to ensure hostages are released and returned, hold those who, are atta who attacked Israel accountable, and speak out against rising anti-Semitism. She closes by saying, I believe that the United States has a moral obligation to demonstrate unequivocal support for our ally against the forces of evil who wish to destroy Israel, the Jewish people, and eventually all people with Western values. Thank you for your time. I also have a letter from Cheryl uh, from Bellevue saying, Dear Mr. Ricketts, I'm writing to express my support for Israel and its right to defend itself against terrorist attacks. As a friend and ally of the United States, Israel has been a beacon of democracy and freedom in the Middle East. It is important that we stand with Israel during these difficult times and support its efforts to protect its citizens. The recent attacks by Hamas on Israel have been unprovoked and unjustified. Israel has the right to defend itself and its citizens against these attacks. I urge your support for Israel's right to self-defense and to provide it with the necessary resources to protect its citizens. Thank you for your attention to this matter. Sincerely, Cheryl. Well, I agree 100% with uh, both Linda and Cheryl that this terrible barbaric atrocity that Hamas committed on October 7th cannot remain unanswered. Essentially, there was a ceasefire on October 6th and Hamas broke it. And so Israel has declared war on Hamas. And wars are horrible things. But Hamas is responsible for everybody who died on October 7th and everybody who has died since then because they started this war. Israel cannot tolerate Hamas on its border. And Israel will be doing not only the state of Israel, but the United States a service and all of humanity by wiping out a terrorist organization by the name of Hamas. Uh, Hamas committed horrible atrocities. They shot unarmed civilians, raped women, killed little children, burned bodies. It really was horrific. And this organization must be destroyed. Its goal is to destroy the state of Israel and kill the Jewish people. And that really gets at the second part, which is about anti-Semitism. In our country, there is no room for anti-Semitism or any sort of hate based upon race, creed, color, anything like that. And we must protect our Jewish friends and neighbors from this anti-Semitism. The anti-Semitism I've seen in our own country has been shocking. And I condemn it in the strongest possible way. We all must take that attitude and stamp it out wherever we see it. I will continue to support the state of Israel. It is, again, our strongest ally in the Middle East. They're a stable democracy. They are one of our best friends in the world, not just the Middle East. And we need to stand by our ally as they pursue this terrible war against Hamas because Hamas is a terrorist organization and there's no way Israel can rem uh, allow them to remain on their border. So thank you, Linda and Cheryl, for writing in. And of course, I will always take the opportunity to speak out against anti-Semitism whenever we see that. Uh, for example, the people that are supporting this terrorist organization, Hamas, uh, that's shameless. It's embarrassing. They clearly do not understand exactly what Hamas stands for and what they've done. So I will continue to speak out for Israel and against anti-Semitism.